we, we have Jack Otier, the CFO of Flower Mills, in the studios to break down the numbers released yesterday. Of course, PBT only slightly up to 11.5%. Jack, it's great to have you on the, in, the sh in, the, in the studios today. I think the first place to start really would be the top line numbers. Just like we saw for profits, it was somewhat flat. I know that there have been some changes with respect to your business, so I think that's probably a good place to start to explain why it seems flat on the top line. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be here with you today. And uh, yeah, when you look first at the number, you want the sales are nearly flat compared to the previous year. Mm. But this is, uh, uh, if we exclude the cement, right. and this is very important. Mm. Last year, uh, we were importing cement, which was a big contributor to uh, the turnover and the bottom line. Yeah. Now, as uh, uh, you know, uh, starting uh, January 2012, uh, uh, there is no quota for the import of cement, mm. which means that now uh, our company, our group, I should say, uh, is uh, uh, growing its food business, excluding cement, mm. by 20%, right. which is, I believe, extremely good in the challenging environment of Nigeria. Mm. So the food is growing by 20%, the fertilizer in terms of top line is growing as well, uh, uh, the livestock feed is growing as well, so it is actually when you look by segment, our business is doing quite well. Right. Yes, obviously on the third quarter uh, there we, uh, we face some challenges, partly due to the floods, uh, which has slowed down our growth uh, mm -hmm. during October, November. Uh, and then in, the, uh, in our subsidiary in charge of uh, packaging materials, uh, the sales were a little bit down due to, uh, we were selling actually a lot of uh, uh, bags uh, to the cement industry, which as you know, the sales were a little bit lower in the last quarter of last year. So this has a little bit impacted temporarily our top line. All right, but what about the margins though? Um, some people point to higher wheat prices, perhaps putting some pressure on, the, on, on your gross margins. Can you speak to that point? Uh, yes, obviously, uh, price of wheat has an impact uh, on our bottom line. Um, uh, however, uh, we believe we are in a position to maintain our margin. So uh, uh, we do believe that uh, the current uh, cost of the material enable us uh, to reach our objective and uh, you should be able to see uh, the results in the coming quarter. I think one thing that's impressive that a lot of analysts flagged is the improvement in your operating expenses. Can you just let us know where you're making the gains in that respect? We are actually uh, driving very hard in controlling our cost all over uh, our subsidiaries uh, as well as uh, in Flower Mill, our main company. Mm -hmm. We tackle it different ways. Uh, first, uh, we uh, have reviewed our working capital, we have reviewed the way we distribute our products, yeah. but also internally uh, what we are doing, we are benchmarking uh, across our subsidiaries the best practices, who is the best among uh, uh, each of our subsidiary in a particular activity, then we are in the process of applying those best practice across. An another thing that, uh, which we are very keen of, it is all these uh, uh, unnecessary overheads. Right. And um, we have announced recently uh, actually the uh, merger of two of our subsidiaries into flour mill. The reason being elimination of unnecessary overheads, improve internal efficiency, and uh, uh, next year we should be able to see the results. Of course, I mean, this is a huge company now, a turnover of well over 200 billion naira for the nine months. Yes. So clearly you need to see how you can manage um, the cost. But let's move on to um, the issue of tariffs. There's, there's a lot of talk about new tariffs, perhaps impacting um, your business, especially in the flour milling side. Is that, is that effective right now? Are you seeing the impact of that now? Well, uh, the last uh, increase of duty and uh, of levy on the wheat yeah. was in July last year. Obviously, in the second half uh, of, la of 2012, yeah. we had to increase um, our cost, our, our selling price uh, to, uh, to our customers, not only us, but the whole industry. And, um, but we went through this um, a painful exercise, which obviously resulted in uh, some uh, uh, cost increase, for example, for the bread. Um, we have recovered, our sales volume uh, continue to grow, and um, that's, uh, that's all. That was the last uh, increase, it was the middle of last year for the, okay. for the wheat. Okay, so going forward, 
Um, can you just speak to the, the fourth quarter? What can we anticipate? Uh, you, you've talked about some pressures you felt in the third quarter. Um, how do you see things going into the fourth quarter? Fourth quarter should be fine, should be actually uh, very good um, uh, for, di for different reasons. First, uh, uh, on, on the uh, flower side, I should say on the food side, yeah. um, we have now a new factory in Agbara, in Ogun State, uh, which produces additional capacity for our pasta, yeah. uh, which means that we can continue to grow and to fulfill the demands. Uh, on the Semo Vita and Golden Vita, we have also increased capacity, so this is, this is going well. Also, uh, in this quarter, we are going to commission our uh, new uh, sugar refinery. Mm -hmm. So this is going to bring already some turnover, uh, some business in this, uh, in this quarter. Yeah. But the full positive impact will be felt in uh, uh, further uh, dur during this year. Right. You mentioned uh, mini factory for pasta. Mm -hmm. Clearly, it seems quite a few companies I see now quite interested in that, in that space, the pasta or pasta-based um, products. The appetite of Nigerians for this product, can you just speak to that point and strategically for you, where, where does that sit going forward in terms of total revenues, total profits for uh, flour mills? It plays more and more an important role. Uh, from flour we went into the pasta, into, uh, into noodle and uh, all those products are actually uh, generating a higher margin, higher revenue and uh, also uh, the products that we are producing actually fulfill uh, uh, the taste and the expectation of the Nigerian uh, consumers and we definitely want uh, to continue to be a key player. We uh, are the number one in, in, in this food uh, business. We want to retain uh, this position and uh, together with actually our uh, agro allied backward integration this play very well in the Nigerian uh, business environment. Well, I want to wrap but I want you to leave a word on the business environment this year of course it's widely expected that GDP will rise slightly this year compared to last year last year was a bit of a tough year are you seeing an improvement especially when you see things like the improvement in power. I, I know you probably produce your own power yourself, but at least now that we're having more Nigerians having better power supply, so perhaps a little more money in their pockets to buy your pasta products, etc. Well, you see, we continue to grow, meaning the economy is going well, uh, and um, we are actually uh, producing and selling the correct product uh, for uh, Nigerians, and uh, we are extremely positive uh, on, uh, on this coming year.